this is Team 10, Class 4501, Mechanical Design 2, Spring 2017. This is a Project 1 for the company named Panuk Robotics. My name is Andre Klavo, right next to me, Kishan Kalpo, Jeffrey Julius, Anna Jones. Panuk Robotics is a Japanese company. Panuk stands for Fuji Automated American Control. About 50% of all American control devices sold in the world made by this company. It specializes in CNC machines, industrial robots, and factory automation. According to the founder of the company, color yellow is emperor's color, and it also promotes clear thinking. It is important to note that this is one of very few companies growing during Japan's prolonged recession. All thanks to this gentleman, Dr. Inaba Shiamon. Uh, born in 1925, currently 92 years old and still a chairman of his company, he gained his PhD in engineering from Tokyo Institute of Technology. In 1955, he was appointed as a head of experimental project, automatic control research. The goal was to reduce or eliminate skilled labor, human labor. In one year, he and a team of seven people uh, produced first Japan made American control device. In two years, they produced uh, first CNC machine for national company Makika Machine Tool Corporation in Japan. In 1959, they produced first electro-hydraulic pulse motor. Um, two most common and well-known devices made by Fanoff is a robot drill and Robocut. Robot drill is a basically drilling machine center where drills are positioned around circular drum and the part position on the platform. Platform moved in the X and Y direction and uh, Sometimes one access rotary table is integrated on the on the platform. This video represents how it works. DDR, the additional one axis direct drive rotary table with a DD motor, enables high speed, high precision indexing and concentration of machining processes. What puts Fanox ahead of the competition is the constant integration with other products. This picture we see industrial robot hands integrated with the robot drill, where hand is picking up blank parts from the bin, put them in the machine, and once the operation is done, removes the part and put it in the other bin. Uh, this reduces human integration and eliminates human errors. Another uh, iconic machine is the Robocard. It uses wire EDM technology where thin wire it uses electric pulse and cut through the metal. The wire is only 0.1 millimeter in thickness and many companies use this feature but what's most important about Fonov, they first came out with uh, outer wire feet. When the wire breaks there is no human need uh, it, after refread the wire. Next video will show how it's done. Unlike other machines, RoboCut does not need to return to the starting point after a wire break. With AWF2, re-threading takes place automatically along the cutting path close to the break point. Alright, so as with most companies, Fanuk wishes to expand the market. So in 1977, Fanuk established the Fanuk U.S. Corporation in Illinois. So, and a biggest move will come, however, in 1982, when Fanuk would enter a joint venture with General Motors to produce and sell robots in the United States. GM would supply the management, and Fanuk would supply the robots. This, the successfulness of their partnership led to them continuing their relationship and creating GM Fanuk Robotics Europa. Under the partnership, Fanuk was more ably easily able to sell the robotics inside Europe. On the right you see the newest headquarters of Fanuc USA in Michigan and on the left you see the Fanuc Automation Line and Terminator Salvation. So the first Fanuc robot, Ro RoboShock, was installed in Japan in 1984. RoboShock is an electric ejection machine. Unlike previous machines who were hydraulically based, the electric, the electric ejection machine is black quieter and it have fewer parts and because it have fewer parts that means that it is able to be easier maintained and it lasts longer. 
and because it's electric, it is greener and it doesn't use oil and it can turn off and save electricity. So a robot shock can weigh anywhere between 17 tons to 400 tons. The key to the, um, the newest robot shocks are is our AI system and an easy user interface. Because of the fact that the AI system can see with an IR vision, it can see flaws within the production means and allow it to uh, correct those errors and warn the user when errors are occurring. Because most flaws occur during the manufacturing process, that means that we can create tools that last longer and are better made. I'm going to talk about Fanuc Intelligent Robots and Automation. Fanuc started the commercial production of its intelligent robots in 2003. This allowed for many factories to automate their manufacturing processes. This was thanks to advanced vision and force sensors. These sensors allow robots to perform many advanced actions, such as bin picking, visual line tracking, and many other actions you can see here. The vision system developed by Fanuc is called IR Vision, and it, it encompasses 2D vision guidance, 3D laser vision guidance, and visual line tracking. 2D vision guidance eliminates the need for a fixture or extensive robot reprogramming when the work environment of the robot changes. 3D laser vision guidance allows the robot to map its environment, and visual line tracking allows the robot to follow an object on a conveyor belt. Before Fanuc, robotic assembly was mostly done by SCARA robots. But SCARA robots don't offer the flexibility that Fanuc robots offer because they only have four degrees of freedom and operate in one plane. The six degrees of freedom that Fanuc robots offer plus the six degrees of freedom of force sensors that they offer allow Fanuc robots to be applied in many 3D assembly applications. Thanks to Fanuc robots, many companies have been able to automate their manufacturing lines. Many companies have even implemented lights out factories, which run, which run autonomously without the need for any human oversight on location. Even Fanuc has implemented this since 2001. Many companies have implemented Fanuc Intelligent Robotics to automate their manufacturing processes. Some examples of these companies are Jedia, which is an automotive supply company that uses 57 Fanuc robots to automate the, their welding process. Aerotech, which uses Fanuc robots to construct the Airbus A350 fuselage. Will the Comfort, which uses IR vision to assemble motor PCBs. And Amazon, which uses Fanuc robotics to manage their warehouse. There's many more such as Tesla, GM, GE, and Apple. Over the years, Fanuc has increased their presence around the world. Now they count with over 250 offices in 46 countries, while their headquarters remain in Japan, along with their nine laboratories for research and development. In 2016, Fanuc reported they, they had $5.5 billion in sales, but the year before that was their best, with $6.1 billion in revenues. In this graph, you can see how the sales are distributed among their divisions of FA or factory autom automation, robot, robot machine, and service. For the factory automation business division, the main products are computer numerical control, servo motors, and laser oscillators. Now for the robot business division, they develop collaborative robots, super heavy payload robot, and the gen culture robot, which is a mini robot that it is able to manage small pieces with high precision, so it is used for assemblies. For Fanuc's future, CEO Dr. Inaba has envisioned that they will continue on site manufacturing equipment along with service first and lifetime maintenance for their customers as long as they continue to use their products and they will enhance the support for the internet of things which allows for the FANUC products to send real-time alerts to FANUC in case they need some assistance. 
distance for maintenance and repair, thus decreasing the zero, thus decreasing the downtime of the customers. In conclusion, we would like to say that Panuk is a very versatile company, customer oriented and always expanding the possibilities for the factory automation and reduction and elimination for the human workforce. We as a team think that this company has a very bright future.